Singaporeans, welcome and thank you for coming. I am Lee Li Lian, the candidate for Pongo East SMC. Very quickly, we have come to the second last rally for GE 2015. With every general election, every candidate and volunteers from our party puts in our best over the nine days of hustings. It is not a long period of time, but of course, the work is never done just over nine days. We prepared for years. From right after the previous election, we were out doing house visits, market or hawker outreach. We have our duties on the ground as well as in parliament. This is not just to win an election, but to also get to know you and understand your needs in order to serve you long term. After nine days of hard things, every Singaporean will go to the polls to cast their votes. You may think that your one vote does not make a difference. Do not underestimate the power of your vote. Do not overlook how your vote will empower your future. Tonight, I want to reiterate the power of your vote and what does voting for the Workers' Party means, even if it is a single seat. Number one, better balance in Parliament. Our current situation is lopsided. The ruling party can pass any bills, legislation and constitution, anything they like in Parliament despite rigorous debates. This has been proven in the Population White Paper. This was proven before when the government decided to legalise casinos despite the social ills and much public disagreement. Many PAP MPs When you have close to 100 minutes. Number two, vote for the Workers' Party for just in case, just in case you are not listening to me, I stop for a while. <laughs> now, I learned this from a motivational speaker I once heard from, and I thought he made very, very good sense. In life, we need a just in case in anything we do. Just in case plan A fails, we have plan B. Just in case my tyre puncture, I have an additional one in the car boot. Just in case my phone battery goes flat, I better bring my portable charger along. Just in case someone gets sick at home, I have some Panadol. It is the same politically. Just in case the government does not hear me when it makes laws, I have a voice to speak up for me. Just in case the government fails, I have another political party to depend on. This other political party cannot just spring up from nowhere. It has to be entrenched now as a credible one. Your question might be, Will the government ever fail? I do not know. You do not know. We do not know and no one knows. The Prime Minister says this election is about finding the next leaders. Ask ourselves a very simple question. If the Prime Minister steps down, can you think of who amongst the newer MPs can take over his place? 
are you confident about the next leader of the country when we don't even know who? Ladies and gentlemen, in life, only death and taxes are certain. So do not be complacent. We cannot assume that we will always have good governance. We have seen situations where there has been poor governance, where bills have been pushed through without regarding the people. Do not count on any political party to bring us forward. Number three, vote for the Workers' Party because competition is good. I do not think anyone will disagree with this. The concept is very simple. It is a principle in economics. Competition is good. If you are the only party in power and you have no competition, you, got, you get complacent. There is a lesson that many of us learn in school in social studies. It is the case study of Venice. Venice was a thriving city at its birth. However, at some point it declined. One of the lessons for Singapore highlighted in our textbook was the concept of complacency. Leaders in Venice were complacent and relied too much on their past success. They started to care more about themselves than the people. Does this sound familiar to all of you? The only way to get rid of complacency is to keep the PAP on its toes so that it doesn't take its power for granted, so that it listens to the people and has to keep getting better in order to stay on top. Now, some will argue that competition creates divides and gridlock. The Workers' Party is a constructive party. We are not here to oppose the government for the sake of it or debate for the sake of it. Many of us have said this many times and we have proven it in Parliament as well. We are here to represent you. We are here to bring up ideas to ask the government to think about its policy differently, to include your voice in the conversation. This is good competition. It will only make the PAP better. Working hard to fight competition has made the Workers' Party a better party, a credible party, and one that you should put in Parliament and give more votes to. My volunteers and I have done our best in the last two and a half years conducting my MPS, weekly house visits, organizing grassroots activities despite the limited resources we have, listening to you and bringing them up in parliament, be it municipal or national issues. I have tabled them down, printed it out and got it delivered to your doorstep by our trusted volunteers. Fellow Singaporeans, on September 11, your ballot paper is not just a piece of paper with a cross on it. It is a powerful piece of paper that will shape our future. On September 11, look at our children, our grandchildren. We brought them into this world. My daughter is somewhere here as I'm speaking now. It is our responsibility to help shape the country's future. Yeah. On September 11, vote for our future, their future, Singapore's future. On September 11, vote for the Workers' Party. Empower your 